Cedar Key, Florida, also took a hard hit from this hurricane. Michael Bobbitt rode out the storm in his home there, and we spoke to him yesterday as he was wading through waist-deep water, surveying his neighborhood. Michael's joining me again now for an update. And Michael, first of all, I'm glad to hear and see that you are safe because you did have me a little worried yesterday when you said you were walking <laughs> in waist-deep water. Well, I had a 10,000-pound houseboat that was tied up into the mangroves, and I was worried that it was going to break free of its mooring and, and break through some of my neighbor's houses. So I'm happy to report I was able to get there and, and get that boat secured. Uh, there's widespread devastation on our little island. 100% of our commercial buildings are ruined is really the only way to describe it. And a huge percentage of our homes um, were inundated. I was very lucky that my 117-year-old house survived the storm completely unscathed. Um, there's there's some existential dread setting in. Uh, you think you have some measure of control in your life, and then nature uh, reminds you of your small place and things. And um, but I will tell you that it's it's been it's been heartening to see the community come together and uh, support one another. Uh, almost immediately after the winds and the waters receded, people were out cleaning up yards, helping neighbors, bringing food, checking on folks, doing rescue missions. Uh, Cedar Key is is strong. And finally, I'd like to say thank you to uh, Sheriff Grady Judd from Imperial Polk County, the county I grew up in, has sent an absolute army of uh, support uh, uh, stuff to us. We have we have uh, we've got bunkhouses and showers and rescue vehicles and a and a, a rescue helicopter, all with Polk County on the side. It, it's I've been walking around proud as a peacock that my original hometown has come to help us. Oh, I'm so glad you feel that you, you, you're getting the support that you need and that your neighbors and your, your community, which you said yesterday, are, are coming together and, and really facing this as a, as a united front. Um, now, you said yesterday that your home is on a hill, so that's part of the reason why it's okay. But you said that most of the other areas that you were seeing were underwater. How are those areas doing today, and what do you think is the extent of this damage? Sure. So the waters have largely receded. Um, our bridges are passable again. Uh, uh, there's a great number of our commercial structures that can maybe not even be rebuilt. Um, I think uh, most of the homes will be able to be rebuilt, but uh, catastrophic is the only only way to describe the damage. Uh, Governor DeSantis is going to be here today. And uh, so far, the response from federal, state and local government has been overwhelming. And I'm hoping with the governor's visit today, um, I'm certain he'll do everything he can to get us the rest of the resources we need. But it's I think our, our recovery time is going to be measured in, in months, uh, not not weeks. So, uh, Michael, what do you think it's going to take to repair and rebuild from this storm? Well, hopefully uh, FEMA will help out. I, I know that in these low-lying coastal areas, especially in Florida, it's gotten harder and harder to, to get insurance. So I know that a, a compounding this tragedy is that a great number of the people affected aren't insured. So uh, we're hoping that uh, the FEMA will send some federal dollars. Uh, and it's just going to take a, a, a widespread effort of folks that care about one another uh, to make sure we've got our neighbors' backs and to pitch in and help where we can. All right, Cedar Key resident Michael Bobbitt. Michael, thank you. Thank you so much. Godspeed, Cedar Key. Uh, good luck to you and your neighbors, Michael. Glad you're safe. Thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.